Join us on this adventure of the Must Do Travel Show as we explore the fascinating Greek island of Santorini. Be sure to follow and like our show so you can get updates as we explore new destinations all around the globe. Santorini is perhaps one of the most famous of the Greek Isles and is located about 120 miles off the coast of Greece in the Aegean Sea. The island and its surrounding neighbors form a ring shape due to these islands being formed from the rim of a volcanic caldera which was created as a result of the largest known volcanic eruption in recorded human history. This occurred some 3,600 years ago. Today, that caldera leaves behind a calm and shallow bay that has been a safe harbor for ships over the past few thousand years. Today, Santorini is a popular stop in the Mediterranean for tourists, and playing host to tourism is the island's number one source of income too, followed second by its winemaking and agriculture. Most of the tourists flock to Oya with its white terrace buildings and its recognizable blue domed rooftops. This is one of the more picturesque places for people to come and enjoy the views, especially at sunset. Many tourists arrive here each week for short excursions from their cruise ships to walk the streets, take photos, eat food, drink wine, and buy souvenirs. For those that want to experience a more peaceful time on the island, it is recommended that you plan a separate trip here and book a room at one of the hotels or luxury resorts on the island. The vibe on Santorini is definitely much more peaceful and relaxing when the cruise ships are not in the harbor with their thousands of guests. Be warned that in the evenings it can get quite crowded at specific points on the island as people tend to flock to the best places to take photos and videos of the iconic Santorini sunsets. You might be better served booking a dinner at one of the restaurants with a view around this time. You might want to make reservations ahead of time though. Or you could rent one of the suites that have a private balcony with even a plunge pool on the patio facing the sunset. For many people, this would be a once in a lifetime dream vacation. If you plan on spending at least a couple of days in Santorini, we can suggest taking the Santorini wine tour or even sail around the islands on a boat. On land, there's plenty of hiking and endless alleyways and hiking trails to get lost on for a bit. There are even remnants of some of the island's ancient civilizations that you can visit at various places around the islands too. Aside from that, plan on dining on some fine cuisine and great wine as Santorini is well known for its great food and beverage. You'll find a whole host of bars and restaurants around the island as they are almost as plentiful here as the gift shops. To find out more about Santorini and things you can do here, visit our website at www.mustdotravels.com. We'll also leave a link to some resources attached here in this video. Until next time, this has been another Must Do Travels Adventure. <laughs>